after watching Ryan Wright's video, Greg Alba, that shit fucking hurt. I know it's not about me, and I know it's none of my business, but I've always looked at him and Veronica as family. I've mentioned this several times on my channel. I've been watching The Real Rejects since they were on 14k subscribers. It's been a fucking long time. I may not have always commented. I was actually a silent subscriber. Pretty much a fucking ghost when you think about it. I was too lazy to log in is what I'm saying. But I've been watching for that long. And when I see two people I care about going through a breakup. I don't know if it's forever or if it's just temporarily. But the first thing that comes to my mind is that I want to fix it. Because I know exactly where they are right now. I've been there twice. And I would not wish it on my worst. Enemy. I look at Ryan, Greg, as my brother. He influenced my channel. How I act, how I am, watching him entertain, influenced me on creating this on-screen presence that you see in every video. Some people are really, they don't understand. They don't get that this is entertainment. So when I say dumb shit, well, I'm being seedy as fuck. They don't understand why I'm like that. They actually think I'm like that 24-7, every day, in my normal life. No. How fucked up would I be if I was like that all the time? I would need fucking counselling. Anyway, I'm going off topic already. I can kind of see how Ryan Wright, Greg's alter ego, can affect his everyday life. Because sometimes I catch myself actually being how I am on camera, off camera. Mr. Whippy can vouch for that. It's almost like it's impossible to turn off. Even sometimes when I'm just chilling by myself. I may not be talking to anyone, but in my head, I'm thinking what I would say on camera. Whenever I'm watching something or thinking about shit, I would actually come up with something fucked up to say without even having to say it. So after watching Greg's video, I'm like, holy shit, I'm doing exactly the same thing. I'm going down that path. It actually made me reflect on myself for a minute and being able to empathize with the situation. I would do the exact same thing he's doing right now. Because I've taken drastic measures like that. I have two songs. Two Robin Thick Stee songs. Trying to get my girl at the time back in my life. And both songs failed miserably. I even made a music video for one of them. These are two separate songs for two different girls. And what Greg mentioned in the video. He just wants her to talk to him. Silence will fucking kill you. That's the worst thing ever. Girls are very good at doing that. I'm not hating on Veronica. She's like my sister. I know we don't always communicate but... I feel like I've watched you for so long, not like that, that in my mind I have a connection with both of you. It's like seeing my sister and my best friend have a fallout. I don't know what's like that with sister, I don't have a sister, but that's how it feels. I also feel like I can relate to Ryan a hell of a lot. He talked about losing his grandmother and his dad, what was it, a month apart or something like that? Or a couple of weeks? That will have some sort of effect on you for the rest of your life, trying to make people laugh all the time. Because I'm the same way. I've experienced so much pain in my lifetime. Losing a nana when I was like four years old. Losing another nana at nine years old. Burying my granddad at 15 years old. Burying my dad at 19 years old. Losing one of my best friends literally a week before I moved to Perth. At some point in life, losing that many people that early on, you're going to lose yourself. Because I know, I turned to the drink for all that shit. And it took me fucking years to really let that shit go. At some point it's all gonna build up and it's gonna change you. And it's why I always go out of my way to make people laugh on this channel. I have a feeling that's similar to what Ryan does. Greg, sorry. Not many people understand that. A lot of people look at YouTube like the people that are in the videos are how they are all the time. Some people are. They are 100% themselves, but not all of them are entertaining. People that go out of their way to make you laugh, to say some fucked up shit. Or shit they wouldn't always say. You should be able to separate the two. Unfortunately for Greg's fan base. I'd say this than half actually knew your real name. That was very surprising. Because I've known your real name before you even told me on Facebook. <laughs> My thoughts are getting so lost right now. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. Reading some of the comments on your video also fucked me off too. Some people have no idea. A lot of them are fucking children as well. But still, has some fucking respect. I don't even know why I'm making this video. I just feel like I need to reach out because I know you're going to get a lot of messages, tweets, Instagram, comments, whatever. And I know it's going to get overwhelming. Actually, I probably don't know to the extent because you got a lot of followers, but it'll be easier for me to actually talk to you through the camera. I don't even know if I'm going to put this on public. 
I might just have it unlisted because I'm not I'm not trying to get views for this. I'm making this video because I genuinely care. Seeing you put yourself out there like that, that literally took me back to both times that I'd been in that situation. I think I might have been worse off than you because I was actually depressed. Not many people know that. Only two of my best mates know that. And both of those mates have actually lost a parent. I think that's why I can actually relate to you a lot because we both share some of the pain. I've noticed that with a lot of people that I'm actually close to, we have all lost someone extremely close. And being depressed, I almost took that route, almost. Not with this, but along those lines. And if it wasn't for my best mate who actually came and saved me from doing what I was gonna do, he didn't know I was gonna do it. He didn't know I was thinking those thoughts. But if he didn't come to me at that point, I probably wouldn't be here. As sad as that sounds. Or well, what makes it even more sad, that person who saved me from myself without even knowing, he's the same person who passed away before I moved here. People wonder why I am the way I am on camera. At some point, you just have to be like, fuck it, and just laugh. Once you've worked through the grieving process, losing so many people, you almost become immune to it. And the best way that I've dealt with pain, losing loved ones, having to let go of people in my life because I fuck shit up. Best way to deal with that is to actually take the piss out of everything, which is why I'm always being a seedy cunt. I'm like Greg, I have this alter ego and I'll try and mix it. Half me, half alter ego. And people get confused. They're like, wait a minute, you're like this, but then you're also being seedy like this, hitting on girls and shit. It's just amplifying what's already there times a fucking thousand it's very easy to do you just stop giving a fuck and then boom you have this magnificent specimen right in front of your eyes see how easy that was i can talk so much shit i can talk shit for days i honestly don't know what the point of me saying all this is i never know if you'll see this but i just felt like i had to share my thoughts on the situation and how i can relate how i respect you for actually putting yourself out there like that because i know love will make you do some fucked up shit where a few months down the track you'll be like, holy shit, I actually did that. What the fuck was I thinking? But in saying that, I would have done the same thing. You gotta go through drastic measures to save your relationship. I really hope you guys can give it another shot. Work things out. Because I hate seeing my family like this. This hurts me. I know it's not about me. I'm just saying. Just saying, you know, bro, I'm here for you. Message me if you want. Shit, even give me a call. Skype, whatever. I'm probably not the best person to actually help you get someone back because I've tried. I'm still trying to figure that shit out. Not that I want to be with those people right now because from retrospect, they were not the ones. They actually fucked me up mentally. Females have too much of an effect over me, which is why you see in these videos, I am the way I am, which is another reason why I choose to be single. Being in a relationship turns me into a little bitch. I'm not having that. I'm too fucking gangster for that. I don't even know if I'm going to put this out. I don't even know if this is the right thing to do. If you want me to delete this, let me know. Because this is your personal business, even though you put your personal business out there. I'm going to show my support no matter what. I was going to leave a comment on your video, but I'm like, no, because there's too many little fuckwits on there commenting bullshit. I'm like, fuck these little bitches. Posting dumb shit just so they can have a top comment. Even that didn't work. So like, fuck. Get the fuck out of here, Jay. Treat my family like that.